we are picking up right where we left off on the last video. So what I wanna show you is how to wrap text around an object. So let's say we wanted to do the monies and establish 2010 and have it fit this curve on this oval we created. Remember, we have this all connected together, so everything's highlighted no matter where I choose to select. We need to change that before we try to wrap text around it. Otherwise, I'll show you, I'll just hit text tools, and I'm, I'm gonna speed through this, but I'll show you again. I'm gonna type this. And I'm going to try to go through how to fit this to this curve, but I just wanna show you what will happen if you don't break this apart versus leaving it connected and trying to fit this text to the path. So we're, I'm gonna hold shift and click the rest of the image and go up to transform and fit text to path. And you're gonna see it says text cannot be fit to this path. When we go to wrap the text around an object or fit it on top or inside or whatever, we need to break the path before we do that. And this is when you have it connected. You don't have to do this if you just created this oval and it's not connected with the letters. So we're gonna click the money's oval and go up to arrange and break path. Now, when I click the any object inside the oval, it's now broken apart again. Now that I have it broken, I can come in and click this text that I just created and then click the oval as well or whatever object you're trying to fit it to. So I'm going to hold shift and click the outside oval, come up to transform and hit fit text to path. What that's going to do is it's going to bring up a couple of different things on the top of your screen. If you hold your mouse over the top of these it'll tell you what each one of them are, are gonna do. So if we hit top start position and I hit apply, it's going to wrap that on the top. And you can see this line up underneath and it's got the A, the letter up above that line. That means that obviously it's gonna put the text above this outside edge. Now if I want it on the inside, but up top, I'm going to hit apply again and that flips it and puts it on the, the bottom. And for whatever reason, I think if you had text inside path, so if we had text outside path and this bottom start position. So after you've gone through and you can click and check and see what each one of these are gonna do to find the path you want it to follow. You can even run this right through the middle of the line, through the middle of the line, whatever you guys chose to do. So I want it down on the bottom, so I'm gonna hit bottom over here and apply, and that puts the text down on the bottom. And you hit close here at the top. Like I mentioned, when you pull that menu up, feel free to click around and hit apply to see what each button does. That's the best way to learn is actually just messing around poking buttons. Remember, before we do anything to our text or move on from our text, we need to break this down and change it from a text item or image to a just some lines on the screen. I don't know any better way to say that. So if you remember from the past video, we highlight our text, we come up to arrange and hit text to graphic. That breaks it so that now each one of these are separate individual letters. This all works the same with a circle or square, whatever object you've got, that's how you fit your text to path.